Arthur C. Clarke did uh, realize that uh, uh, humans will be quite uh, concerned about the possibility that rocks from the sky could cause damage. Uh, and uh, he was envisioning a, an event uh, of an asteroid impact in Italy that triggered this uh, initiative to detect them in advance. Of course, uh, N NASA was asked by the US Congress to do so already in 2005, and that's why the Pan-STARRS telescope was uh, established and it discovered Oumuamua. And now we have the Rubin Observatory, which was uh, created uh, in order to find most of the objects that are bigger than 140 meters that may impact the Earth, near-Earth object. And in the process of doing so, uh, it's quite likely that it will discover of order up to 50 interstellar objects over the next decade. So we had three that were discovered over the past eight years. Um, one in 2017, another in 2019, and, and then uh, the, the last one to 2025. But uh, starting now with the Rubin Observatory, every few months we might have a new one. And so instead of calling them uh, with uh, special names, we will probably, what will happen is they will be called after the Rubin Observatory and then uh, uh, identified by their discovery date. And so we should just be ready for 4i, 5i, 6i, maybe 7i in 2026. Okay, there will be a lot of them. And uh, that opens up uh, an interesting question of whether any of these objects would be technological in origin or all of them might be rocks, asteroids, or uh, comets. And uh, what Arthur C. Clarke uh, realized is that you know, if we do get a visitor that is big enough and uh, if we can identify that indeed it's a spacecraft, it's not natural in origin, then uh, that would change the future of humanity. And he discusses the interaction of uh, the investigators with that object. 